What Firecrust is is Neapolitan, that's what our roots are. Uh, Neapolitan style pizza was the original form of pizza that was made back in the 1800s in Italy before it became what it is now with Domino's and Pizza Hut and Cheetos pizzas and Fruit, Lo or Fruit, Lo <laughs> Fruit Loops pizzas, whatever you want to call it. Um, Neapolitan was the way that it came across from Italy over, okay? Um, and Neapolitan pizza is pizza as its simplest form. There's five different things that kind of classify it as Neapolitan. Dough, your sauce, which is the tomatoes, the cheese, the oven, and the time and temperature that you cook at in the oven. Dough is 100% vegan as it is by itself. There's four ingredients to it. Water, flour, salt, yeast. We don't make anything frozen. Everything's made fresh twice daily. Uh, with Mark's location being busier, they make dough a little bit more often than some of our other locations. But that being said, Neapolitan dough is made fresh. It's not frozen. Um, so that's the, the big, the big uh, carrier to everything. Our dough is the vehicle to everything that we do. So we master our dough and that's what we take pride in. We source high quality ingredients. The two other ingredients that you add on there is going to be your cheese, which is Fiorda Latte. Fresh mozzarella. It's old school, Ogolini type mozzarella. Fiorda Latte is just a traditional name for it from Italy, but it, it is phenomenal cheese. We do have a shredded mozzarella up there, just kind of Americanize things, be a little bit more diverse for everybody across demographics. And then the tomato sauce. So the tomato sauce is a San Marzano tomato. It's from a specific region in Italy. It is just because of the volcanic ash that they have that's in that soil there that gives a certain kind of tomato that comes out of that soil. We have tried to grow them in Vancouver. What you hear of is more of an Italian plum style tomato, but a true San Marzano's tomato is what you use in the Italian pizza. Your other big pieces obviously is the oven. That's our staple of any restaurant you go into for fire crust. It's our centerpiece. All the bricks internally come from Italy. They're all fire bricks from the ash from Vesuvius in, in Italy. The ovens are finally assembled in Washington, D.C., and then they're shipped out throughout throughout North America. But majority of the oven did come from Italy. It was just final assembly and all that kind of good stuff happens in North America, and then they put it on a truck and ship it out. Interesting story to get this oven in here. Mark actually had to close down House Street and crane it from the street into the building and then wheel it into position where it is. And then they built around. around. 5,000 pounds. We had about three inches of clearance. Oh, no. If we didn't get it through there, we would have had to knock all of the windows out of here. Oh. It does burn at over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so what that does is it allows us to cook our pizzas in 90 seconds. So what you see over there with our pizzas, they're nice and thin, but they have a nice fluffy charred outside crust. But on the inside, it's nice, nice and soft and chewy. So the outside's a little bit crispy, but the inside's nice and soft and chewy. So traditional Neapolitan, it's a very thin crust in the middle, nice fluffy crust on the outside. It's got a nice little nest of, uh, of crumb on the inside, so it's good for dipping in olive oil and balsamic vinegar at the end of it. Um, so what we always call the boneyard, which is like the crust at the very end. Save that, don't, don't throw it away. Grab the balsamic vinegar and the olive oil that's over there on the bar. Put that on a little plate with some Parmesan cheese and dip that crust in there at the end. It is, it is awesome. So it's, it's basically the equivalent of what you get when you get breadsticks at an Italian restaurant. Okay? <laughs>